What's up guys, um, last time we went through the last developer notes for Wuthering Waves and today here we are, we get a volume 3, um, I think I missed volume 1, I think we went through volume 2 last time, 1 or 2, I, I don't know, it doesn't matter, here we are, big news for 1.1, we're gonna get right into it, we're not gonna waste time. Number 1, and this seems to be, in my opinion, the most important one, uh, really important here, we've got, to address the issue of lower grade tuners piling up in your backpack during the late game, We'll be introducing the tuner synthesis feature in the version 1.1 update. With this feature, you'll be able to synthesize a certain number of medium advanced tuners into a high grade tuner using the synthesizer. This is perfect. Because how many, like when you get to the end game, you don't care about nothing but the five stars, let's be honest. And there's no reason, th th these tuners are kind of worthless. Like, so this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. I think I can honestly say we're all happy with this. Let's be honest, right? If you're caught up on the game right now, and you're, what if your data bank is caught up? We're all happy with this as a very good change. Number two, sorry if there's some jump cuts, there might be some jump cuts on this video because I'm still a little bit, my throat's still recovering, I was recently sick, um, last couple of videos I mentioned I was a bit sick, um, I had a bit of a throat infection, but we're fine now, like I'm just on the road to recovery, so I still have a really bad cough, so if there's any jump cuts it's because I'm coughing like a bloody, like a nutter, um, anyway, number two, increased union XP reward for unlocking new echo entries, okay, so to the leveling experience and unlocking the late game content earlier for all players, we've introduced Union XP reward for unlocking new entries of... I wish they'd try... They need better translators, man. The way they type sometimes annoys me. Oh my God, trying to read this broken ass English. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, version 1.1. Additionally, we will retrospectively reward the Union XP for the number of Echo entries you have unlocked during version 1.0. Oh! Okay. This is good. So anyone who's been playing since 1.0, as soon as 1.1 comes out, you're gonna get all that union level XP that you, whatever your data bank level is for all the laws echoes, which is amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Thank you, Kuro Games. Really appreciate that. Number three, higher cost range for echoes rewarded for activity points. We've heard your feedback about the high variability in the cost range of echo rewarded by gaining acquired activity points in guidebook. Uh, to improve the experience, we've removed cost of one echoes from the activity points reward pool. Oh, the, oh, that's really good. So it's only three to four now. Yo, they are here. Yo, hold on. They're giving us a bit too much power. I'm like, hold on, hold on, what else are they cooking? Hold on, hold on, that's really good. Number four, data bank level cap raised. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Because right now it's 80%, right? For five stars. After the version 1.1 update, the level cap for the data bank will be raised to level 21. After reaching level 21, all echoes drops will be guaranteed to be of the... Yo! Guys, no more having to fight the dreamless five times and get one five star. Oh my God, yes, yo. Kuro, W! Yo, hold your verse. Are you li are you looking at this? I'm sorry. I'm gonna call them out. Yo, that is yo, the, you know. <laughs> oh god, I had a bit of a cough and spell there, guys. Um, that's amazing. That's amazing. It's the RNG still exists. RNG is still gonna be a bitch. But the fact everything is guaranteed five star, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. We definitely have no need for those other echoes. And that's really good with the synthesis on top. Oh, that is great. That's amazing. Number five, new fun in Mount Firmament. Oh, this is the new area that's coming to the game. Get ready for some fun. In select areas of Mount Firmament, you can now transform into Echo Clangbang to explore the area. Stay tuned for more creative Echo puzzles and challenges in future updates. Okay. Number six, other optimizations. Remove tacit field reward collection animation. Yeah, they said they were gonna do that to collect the ward right away. Lowered shell credit cost for Echo leveling. Okay, simplified the cruise wing challenge. We have slowed down the flying speed of the cruise wing and extended the time limit to make the challenge more manageable. Bro, I'm sorry, but I've only done, I've done quite a few of those. They're not that hard. I don't know who's, who's complaining about this skill issue. I'm sorry. You can literally slow down. There's an ability to slow down. If this is talking about that little like dragon flight, dude, you can literally manually slow it down. Like just stop. What? I'm okay. Whatever, man. Hey, if that's good, if people need that change, whatever, man, that's, that's a waste of resources. They could be changing other stuff. Like for example, lower shell credit cost for echo. Move the tacit ward animation. Can we lower it to 40 cost, please? 60 is still too high, man. For gear, it's still too high. I don't like it. Either lower the simulation trainings to 20 or lower that shit to 40, bro. Like one or the other, you go pick one, please. But still, hey, W so far, right? Right, um, events and other rewards. Number one, new depths of elusive realm content. Okay, raise event rewards. Uh, we'll be introducing a new uh, elusive realm event called Dreams of Blaze. In darkness, along with new mechanics such as token, symphony rank, and different mematic, meme tick, meme -tick words. Words are hard. Tuning available for you to create your own powerful build. Furthermore, the total event rewards will be increased to 1,000 asteroids. That's that's not bad. 
I haven't played too much of Elusive Realm. I ain't gonna cap, I haven't played it too much. So I don't know how to feel about that. If you guys are cool up on Elusive Realm, like up to date doing the highest difficulty, let me know. Is that a good thing? Is it a bad thing? I don't know. I mean, it's obviously good it's going up, but is it really going up like by that much? Like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Number two, new area exploration event, Mount Firmament area events. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, to help everyone better experience the new Firmament uh, area, we've prepared two exclusive area events for you. The area exploration event, Tales from Mount Firmament. So two events, a photo collection event and an area event. Complete these events to earn up to 800 asteroids, premium resonance potions, and premium sealed tubes, and more. Just the regular XP, XP, yeah, yeah. Number three, increased convene item version exchange limit in the item exchange oscillate. Okay, so the cashback store. Okay, when you do pulls, you get cash back in gems, right? As a version 1.1, you may redeem up to seven of each of the full. Oh, they're putting it up by one. I am mad at that because there's six at the moment, right? I am mad at that. Especially since because they separated the weapon one too, which is dumb. So yeah, and everyone's getting hold on Yin Lin. So I'm pretty sure we've all got a bunch of those gems just sitting there waiting for the <laughs> waiting for the next month of a uh, of a. Uh, to buy those back, you know what I'm trying to say. Preview of other special events. Besides the optimizations and tweets mentioned above, version 1.1 is also bringing a bunch of other cool events your way. Seven day login event, gifts, celestial featured commission event, yada yada yada, featured combat event, yada yada yada. Leveling material double drop, yes please. Echo double drop, yes please, bro. Because if you ain't gonna lower it to 40, give me double drops, man. I ain't mad at that. Okay, so just gen generic like stuff that, again, once 1.1 once 1 .1 comes out, we're gonna have a lot of stuff coming over that course of that patch. New Mount Firmament layered map. Due to the complexity of version 1.1's new map, Mount Firmament, we added the layered map feature to the area to help you better explore it. You, yo, I'm gonna call it out, bro. It took Genshin three years, right? And an extra fourth region, or fifth region, the, 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 map, the region that needed it the most. Sumeru, it didn't get this shit. Needed it the most. They didn't add that shit to Fontaine. These guys said, hold on, 1.1, bro. Yo, Kuro Games, man, you are in your bag. You are in your bag right now, and I hope you know this. Keep doing what you're doing. Kuro Games, there's probably no chance you even watching this video, but if you are, yo, thank you. Thank you for all these changes. This, this one change, this is like one of the best things I've read on this page today. Coming so early, yes, bro. Yes, in your bag, man. Number two, new area quest progress. After the version 1.1 update, you'll be able to track your progress on exploration quests for the current area. That's really good. You know exactly how many quests are in each. That's good. So it helps you tick them off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of looking at interactive maps, like, is there a quest here? Is there a quest? Okay. Or like running around just trying to find NPCs. That's really good for people who want 100% each area. That's 100% very good. It's more gems, more resources. Who can complain? That's nothing. That's 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 just good. There's a good QOR right there. Number three, expanded detection range for the loot mapper. I haven't used this yet, but I guess it's pretty shit since they're expanding the range. Um. Which is really good. You can find undiscovered supply chests. We'll expand the detection range in version 1.1. You can use and deploy the loot mapper through the utility world to search. I have not used this thing. I don't know how it works, man. Someone's gonna like let me know. Is this useful? Because I'll start using this if this is useful. Quest and gallery system. Okay. After version 1.1, you can check all the resonators you've unlocked in the unlock time in gallery. Nice, they're adding a character gallery like what they have in Genshin and Starro. That's fine. That's pretty staple. Story dialogue gallery. That's staple. You know, we all prefer cutscenes. I really hope. Don't they have a cutscene viewer? Am I bugging? Is there? I can't remember. I think I saw it once. Is there uh for the actual like the actual cutscenes, the um, pre-rendered cutscenes? Is there a cutscene viewer in Wuwa? If you're at this part of the video and you remember or not, uh, let me know. I, I can't even bother to check, but I'm, I'm sure there is. Number three, level requirements lowered for some main quests to unlock the late game content early. See, this is dope. They want people to be able to catch up to the late game because they're going to be starting a patch later. So they're like, hey, look, we'll lower the level requirements for some main quests so you can finish the base game quick, get to the end game. Unlock the new areas, yada yada yada. Unlock the new rover, yada yada. Um, the requirement to unlock main quest chapter one, act four, will be lowered from union level 14 to 11. That's big. That's big, because I remember when, yeah, you do the first bit with Scar, and you're like, man, okay, I gotta go level up. What do I do? And then obviously, you fit, you know, just play the game, you level up, but still, that's really good. Main quest chapter one, act five, and act six will become available once the preceding chapter quests are Wow, so it's just back to back, you're in there. The minute you hit level 14, you can beat the game, which is really, really good. Because they give you all trial characters anyway. So you don't have to be, oh man, I got to level up. Nah, nah, you're good, man. Number four, more number and types of guidebook activity point quests. We've heard your feedback about the limited ways to earn guidebook activity points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. Um, 1.1 update will increase the variety and number, and number of daily activity point tasks. We hope these changes make the quest more enjoyable. No, that's good. I, I am mad at that. 
other experience optimizations, new combat star tags. With the version um, vision, with the version 1.1 update, we're introducing combat star tags to categorize the combat mechanics of different resonators. We hope this will help you better understand. Yo, that's dope. That's really cool. Yeah, because obviously we're normally like um, looking up, right? We're always looking up, like, oh man, what does this character do? What is the best strength? They're just gonna tell you, like, hey, this character's got good knockback. This character's got deceleration. This character's got vibration strength this character's got yo that's actually dope this character's a support and healer that's dope that's really good honestly for like in so you can get more of the information in game instead of having to go externally that's i ain't mad at that i know some content creators are like no no please i need people to come to my video so they know how to do these things and they will go to your video they'll still watch your video if they're fans they don't get mad at this is good this is good for everyone and especially newer players starting out right they're like man oh, i need a tank and their friend's like, oh, well, this guy's a tank. And then they're like, well, the game doesn't say it's a tank. So I don't, I don't know. And it could, could end up some arguments, some friendships. But um, no, nah, this is good. This is an overall good change. I'm just messing around. All right. New chat system style. To make the chat system easier to use during gameplay, the chat box will be displayed at a half screen height after the version 1.1 update. I don't use this. I Discord. Discord exists. I don't. Yeah. I don't play with random. So I don't need this. So if, if, if you if you use this, if you use the chat, yo, that's, that's hey, W's for you, man. At least for you. Controller mode interaction optimizations added a new camera adjustment setting for the controller mode. You can now invert the horizontal vertical camera controls under. Okay, that's not bad. Change the controller mode shortcut key. Open chat is now open map. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's really good, actually, because I play controller. Enabled key remapping for certain buttons on PlayStation controllers, making it consistent with the remapping, re remapping, remapping options uh, available for Xbox controllers. Cool. That's fine. That's everything. Okay, yo. I am mad at that. Guys, we got some really good stuff today. Uh, sorry, my, again, my voice is getting a little bit bad. We got some really good stuff today. Um, I am mad at it. Um, if you made it to this point in the video, do let me know down below what you're most excited for or what you're most happy about when it comes to these changes. My biggest beef is still, hey man, lower the damn tacit fields. If you ain't gonna lower the tacit fields, lower the simulation. It, it, something has to give, man. But they're giving. Hey, hey, Kuro Games, something has to give. And Kuro Games is giving in a lot of other areas. I respect that. I'm looking forward to the 1.1 patch. Um, hopefully we can just get more gems. I need gems, man. I'm down bad. Man, this game's gem giving is just... And I'm on the battle pass, man. Y Yinlin took everything I have. Okay, it's tough. Okay, it is what it is. It was worth it. Elf waifu. But hopefully you can get some more gem acquisition. I mean, there's a lot of new events coming, so that's really good. I just hope for 1.1, I don't get... We don't get no, like, tin come out again, and they're like, oh, guys, we're pushing the events forward again. No, 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 no. 1.0, you push everything forward, right? That's fine. You, but you rushed 1.1 a little bit. That's fine. 1.1, just whatever you've got planned for the events, Kuro Games. Just let them come out at the pace that they need to come out, right? Keep the, let's keep the game alive. Let's keep people coming back to the games who play the game, right? Come on now. This is good, healthy competition. This is healthy competition that might push other developers to maybe do better things for their games. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna name names, but we don't know who we're talking about. Um, and it might also inspire other developers to make games in this genre that might do things better than Wonder Waves. You know what I mean? Like, hey... It's all healthy competition for me. I ain't mad at it. It's a W. Um, but yeah, that is today's video. Thank you to anyone who made it this far. And I uh, wish you guys a good rest of your day. Uh, catch you guys later. Peace out.